was on tonight. So I'm going to tell a scandalous story. Listen, it all started when I was a kid. I was a good kid, you know, growing up and everything. But uh, I don't know, I just took the wrong direction when I got older. I don't know. Temptation, whatever. But um, okay, so about a year ago, it was actually getting close to mischief night. And uh, a bunch of friends met up with me after I got done work. So, you know, got done bartending a shift. And all these friends of mine, they wanted to meet up with me. So I'm like, all right, so what's, what's going on? So one of them, my friend Tony, he had been, uh, well, uh, our mutual friend, uh, Doug, he threw some eggs at his window <laughs> the year prior. So out of revenge, a little bit of vengeance here, um, Tony wanted to get him back. So I was like, okay, sure, I'll come along, no big thing. Of course, I have a dozen of eggs slapped right in my hand. I'm like, what am I going to do with this? I thought I was coming with you. And it turned out more like he was coming with me. So, uh, so what we did is we set up on two sides of his house, uh, in the front and the back, and we cell phoned each other. We called each other at exactly 6.31 on the dot, and we just nailed his house. Of course, him being inside. You know, he's like, oh my god, what the hell is going on? Like, I can, you know, he must have heard it from, from the inside. So, he comes and to the window and sees us both throwing eggs at his place. From the front, from the back. So, he's pretty ticked off. So, he, uh, you know, he comes and he goes to, you know, he comes outside and he's chasing us down the block. And we're like, oh my god, this guy's going to beat us up. But luckily he never called us, so uh, he did have some mean words to say, and uh, after that, you know, everything was good. But next on the agenda for that night, we went straight to a party. It was uh, one of those warehouse parties. I don't know if anybody's ever been to those. They're kind of, they're kind of, they're kind of crazy. A little bit of raunchiness. So uh, go in there, and um, as soon as I get in there, pretty much this guy offers me like drugs, like from the jump. And I'm like, drugs? What are they? <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I'm like, okay, um, so Molly, what's that? <laughs> who, who is she? I'm like, okay, well, all right, so let me taste. So all, all of a sudden, the room starts spinning. And I'm like, ugh, I'm falling into a rabbit hole somewhere. And I don't even know what's going on. I'm like, is this right? Should I be doing this? But it felt right at the time, and I just went with it, and next thing you know, I'm like John Travolta out there on the dance floor, I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing, like, I'm just moving all different kinds of ways. And, uh, I don't know, it felt right, but next thing you know, like, these two women, like, bump into me, and, you know, start, like, you know, talking a little bit more, we have a lot of things in common, you know, and... They're really good dancers, so I'm trying to keep up with them the whole time. And uh, next thing you know, like, we wind up going back to my place, and uh, I don't know, uh, you know, I'm like thinking, okay, we're going to have a couple drinks or whatever, but <laughs> this one girl, like, breaks out these black Velcro straps, I'm like, what are they for? What are we going to do with those? And I don't know, boom, it just happened. Next thing you know, I'm getting like a, you know, one-on-one -on -one education about how to uh, uh, fist a woman. I'm sorry. No offense to any ladies out there. But the, uh, the other woman that was present with me is like, this is how you do it. No, you're doing it wrong. No, no. Have you done it? No, I haven't done this before. No, I have not. She's all over my shit. Give me the one-on-one. -on -one. Like, really? Is this happening? Yeah. And I don't know if anyone has ever uh, gone to ecstasy. It's, you know, it's kind of hard to, like, keep a heart on uh, after you do ecstasy or, like, molly or whatever that stuff is called. So it's like, I felt like more like I was running a marathon and trying to be endured than anything else. So, so I don't know. That was a pretty crazy night. Um, yeah, it's pretty wild. I don't know what the deal was. So, I went home, and uh, needless to say, that's one for the books. So, uh, 
wrapping the night up, you know, just met back up with my friends, you know, the ones that kind of just threw me under under the bus, and just, you know, had a drink and went home, and that was it. That, you know, I guess like that's the end of my mischievous story. It's really not that bad. But thanks for listening. Have a good night.